Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process is going to be quite a few different things. Well, the inspiration for this video came from a K Arthur devotional that I read, and it, it just so happened that because we are in December, her devotionals are kind of Advent related, and this one really, really struck me, so I really wanted to share it, and then I also wanted to have a good reason to use a Vin Von Lee principle, but this is a book that I love so much, K. Arthur Devotion. i read it for a number of years. I read it over and over again. Uh, I haven't read every single devotion in it, but most of them I have, and the ones that I haven't are always um, are a blessing to me, and it just so happened that in December's entries I haven't read. So to read them, it's just been really a blessing each day. So it's kind of like an Advent study for me, in addition to what I'm already doing, which is great. And she always gives such great insight and conviction of scripture. And it always challenges me to be better. It's just not like an okie dokie kind of thing, but it really challenges my morality in Christ. So here is the devotion I did digitally. That's my personal reflections. And all I did was I have it the book and then I also have the digital book so I snapped the picture of the dig digital portion and imported it into my good notes and then I decorated it with the elements that I have in my digital stash so that's how I did that and you know I have some videos on how I digitally Bible journal also uploaded it and printed it out on cardstock a four by six and I'm going to put this into my Christmas travelers notebook my December daily kind of TN that my friend Gail sent me. So I'm going to put it in there because I've been putting some of K. Arthur's devotions in there, printing them out from my digital uh, planner and putting them into my TN just as memorabilia or a memorial to 2020 December and what I was reading and what I was thinking about during this time because it's such an unprecedented time in the history that we're living in. All right. Well, Without further ado, there's more that I'd like to say, but thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Take care. I'll be using this beautiful printable from Vin Von I use this printable and I bought my embossing ink and I have the powder. I'm just going to give it a try. I told you guys in my other video that I would try it on, the, on a Tuesday, which is usually my try it Tuesday. As this is the last night for our Bible study for church, online church. And once that's done, then I can do more Try It Tuesdays. I miss doing it, and I just really haven't found anything that I really wanted to try lately. So that's another reason why I haven't done a Try It Tuesday. Initially, I was going to read the devotion, but when I read it, I realized that the time was going too long, and I wanted to give you guys the gist of it and then the nugget that I took from it and why I chose this particular page, because in Matthew chapter 1, it talks about Jesus and his mission, and he would, she would bear a son, and they would call his name Jesus because he would save his people or save people from their sins. And that's the real reason for the season, as we know, and to put our focus and to keep our focus on Christ. Yes, the trees are great. I'm I'm a big proponent of it. The trees, the decorations, I get all giddy with it, with the Christmas music and movies and things like that. I love that. I love that aspect of it. But above all things, I know the real reason. And I'm so grateful that God sent us what we needed not what we wanted but what we needed we didn't need a politician didn't need a uh, scientist we didn't need a doctor we didn't need a uh, any leader of some sort we didn't need an educator we needed someone who was going to rectify the problem of man man has an internal eternal problem and that internal and eternal problem is sin I'm sorry sin is not eternal but the internal problem causes us to have eternal damnation, and that is sin, God. But God came to fix man's problem, and man has a sin issue. And that's the reason why Jesus came. And Kate Arthur's devotion talked about the history of Christmas and how all of a sudden, subtly, Christ was kind of etched out of Christmas. And she talked about Saint Nick, the history of the real Saint Nick, who was a wealthy man, who had given all of his most of his wealth to the poor and it traveled around that this was this man and he would give gifts to poor children and it just morphed into something and people all over the world began to adapt and adopt this 
this ideal of a gift giver through who we would call now Santa Claus, but it just changed. And through commercialism, he was a follower of Jesus Christ. So his mission was more of a spiritual, godly mission to help the poor, not anything for name recognition, not anything for commercial, but just like Kay Arthur used in uh, her devotion. I'm going to read this portion right here. Once the, the spread of St. Nicholas kind of got around the world, I'm going to pick up from right there. She says, um, eventually immigrants brought their various traditions to America, where writers and illustrators added new details to the character of St. Nicholas until our modern Santa Claus gradually emerged in the late 1800s. Then it happened. The marketing of Christmas without Christ. The God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelieving so that they might not see the light of the glory, I'm sorry, the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. The shift came subtly as often happens when we don't evaluate everything against the plumb line of God's word. We veer slightly off center and we soon lose track of the center altogether. And you know that's me. I always say we measure everything by the word of God. Our standard is the word of God and the word of God explicitly says why Jesus Christ came. Before I continue in my reflections, I just wanted to jump in here and show you that I'm going to try the embossing right now. And it worked out pretty well. I was pretty excited about it and happy that it came together. There were some black specks in there and I'll show you, uh, I think I do a close up later on and I don't know if that's from the leftover ink from the stamp itself or anything that I've done wrong, but with everything, over time it'll get better. So I was glad that it turned out as well as it did and I just decided to just use it on my page and I hope to use it in the future. Back to my quick reflection on uh, this thought. As I stated before, you know I love the holiday season. It always makes me shake my head when I watch these holiday movies because of the God of this world. They will sometimes mention Christ, but very few of them, unless it's a Christian movie, very few of them will mention Christ as saving people from their sins. He's always a hope. He always bring in light. He's always, and if he's not mentioned, then Christmas is a season for giving. It's a time of magic and things, miracles and things happen. But for us, for those who are believers of the word of God, we know the real reason why Jesus came. He didn't come to give hope while hope is part of him. He didn't come to do all of these, these, these things, these things that um, are attributed to him. He came to save man from their sins. And then because we are saved from our sins, that he can experience great joy and peace and hope and love and all those wonderful things. Just digressing really quick on my page, I decided to use some decorative paper to uh, add some more elements to the page because the elements were smaller than I uh, had hoped they would be on the page. It was so much space to work with. So I decided to cut up some, uh, what are those point centers and decorate the page around that just to fill in some space and things like that. And that really kind of set the page off and made it Christmassy. And then Miriam's uh, memoirs, I used those little bows, which I thought were really cute. Stay tuned for some upcoming videos on my December TN. I have some tags that I want to do for my advent and I want to share with you the quick process, how quick and easy and simple it is. I hope you are blessed and encouraged by this video. Thank you for watching and take care. God bless.